So, you already know me. I'm the devil's advocate master over here. Everyone says this unit sucks. I will be the one to tell you this unit's good. And is that true? Ah! It depends. Because I've been looking around for blue mono videos. And honestly, I have not seen this team yet. Which, and I've used this team a few times. And it's kind of nasty. So, let's go ahead and hop into the video. What's up, everybody? Or expert, you know, your host. Like and subscribe, follow me on my socials, and, you know, come oh, go buy stuff from the link down below using my code or at expert if you're looking to support the homie. Now, the team I am referring to is the traditional Brunhild Sigurd team. This team works relatively well with Blue Mono, even though half of her passive is not being used. Because we already know the catastrophe characters are dog shit. 90% of them are not usable in PvP. So we're just not gonna care about that passive. We're just gonna go strictly for her damage, her crit chance increase giving her extra damage, her AoE being weak point, and we all know she can't apply her own debuffs. So we're gonna use Brunhild, Sigurd giving her more attack, and Bon in the back giving her a little bit more crit chance and damage, or attack related stats to be specific. And we're just gonna go in and honestly probably just wipe <laughs> because this team is actually pretty good and I have not seen it used yet I don't even know if anyone's uploaded a video on this team which I don't think so because a lot of people are just saying oh this unit sucks because of the passive of 70 catastrophes you're not wrong right but there's more to like you don't like this in from okay just to piss people off right this unit is the same as Christmas Valenti in the sense of people complain about her passive, which supposedly makes the character, and that's just kind of not true. And this is exactly why. You do this, you AoE with Brenhill, which is still a strong AoE, 290, 289, and now look at Mono. 400,000, they're dead. They're literally just dead. <laughs> like bro like this is me playing devil's advocate I do like this unit and I'm not saying that the majority of people don't like this unit because there are some people out there that do like the unit but just they don't like the complete package of the unit which I am one of those people because obviously her biggest flaw is they want you to use her on a catastrophe team and that's just not possible at the time because the catastrophes are just dog shit. Like, you can't use three catastrophe teams frontline and expect to win. Especially when their CCs do not compare to, like, festival characters. But, like, it's good damage, bro. It, this team is pretty fucking crazy. And I am going to enjoy this to its potential. All right, we're coming back in with, okay. All right, we sitting pretty, 289. Yeah, we finally made the plat five or four. This is plat four. Okay, so we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh, we can literally AOE twice and just kill. But let's, yeah, let's AOE with mono left to have the least amount of damage reduction. He has dodge food, so this is a real player. Okay, beautiful. It's kind of unfortunate that this is a real player, but you know, it's fine. 178. Alright. Now here's the problem with this being the demon team. I think he's going to target my mana. Because it just makes sense, right? But you know, it is what it is. And I already attacked into Trader uh, Trillion Dark Melee, so this is going to hurt. Um, one of these situations, even though I did go first, I did not wipe because I just didn't have the kit to, I guess. Because he does have Holy Relic Chandler, and when you attack, it lowers the shit out of your stats. He did an interesting turn. Now the problem is, can I even get through Chandler's Holy Relic? Because that's kind of potent at the moment. Re I don't think we can, to be completely honest with you. But we can attempt. We can always attempt. His relic is just way too crazy. And I am lowering the hell out of my stats right now, so I might not be able to kill. Yeah, I did nothing. 
Oh, brother. That Holy Relic is crazy. 181. Alright, well, this team is very tanky right now. <clears throat> Who's back line? I'm assuming Kusak, right? But I think I'm dead. <laughs> After all of that talking about how good this unit is, I think I just lost to a demon team because, yeah, Chandler Relic is just too good. Chandler's passive is too fucking good. He's just built different, alright? So I think I just die here. Yep. Okay. There's nothing I could do about that ultimate at all. Unless I get really lucky and somehow manage to kill with Brunhild, which I doubt will happen. But you know, we can always attempt. And if we don't, we'll give him the kill. A little molt. I won't forfeit. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> he has all his damage reductions going too. Yeah, I'm not killing. Alright, we got cooked. We got cooked. Uh, let, let's let him ult. Let him, let him get his um, victory lap, and then we can go to the next match. If he doesn't ult, though, I'm just going to forfeit. Because, yeah. I ain't got time for no one playing with my, my team. Beautiful. What was that? That was probably like 2-6, if I had to guess. Do you want your K on the crit? Nah, it's probably 1-6, to be honest. All right, next match. Who we got this time? Another damn Chandler. Do you have Relic? Because Relic Chandler is a pain. That's an interesting start, but it's not helpful. No Relic. All right, this should be fine then. Let's go for the uh, uh, the OG strat. We Exhort, we AoE, and then we AoE with Mana. Asterosa should die. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. All right, that was good damage. He has Tarmio Link on Melee, so Melee's definitely not. Oh, okay! Never mind, they're dead. Again. <laughs> we go from. <laughs> we got a forfeit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. As I was saying um, in the first match, yeah, um, Mono's kind of crazy. Um, This team's kind of crazy. Um, Just scrap that second match completely, okay? Even though Sigurd didn't do damage, that Extort went kind of crazy. Okay, who we got, who we got, who we got? Oh, brother. Yeah, this is a fun one. Alright, are you 1-6? You might be free to play. You look very free to play. I hope you're 1-6. You are not 1-6. Alright. Can he forfeit against the mono? Hey, bro. Listen. The people are smoking, bro. The, 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 you, you, <laughs> the unit's kind of crazy. And I only have one ticket left, bro. I guess I'm going to go buy some PvP points, apparently. Who we got... Is this the same guy we were just going against? Or at least he has the exact same cosmetics, but he does not have Holy Relic on Chandler, which means death. So it looks like the Exort route is the best to go in terms of just wiping. We Exort into the weak point AoEs on both Brunhild and Mono, and it just looks like it does way better than trying to go for an AoE frenzy. I should kill, especially if I crit. I missed my crits on Melee, but yeah, his team's dead. Yeah, he has Tarmio Link on Melee. That's super annoying. And we could possibly die here because he might have a level 2. Is he... I'm going to assume he's going to single target... Okay, he's going for the mana. That makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Jesus Christ, she's dead. All right, my bad. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, never mind. I don't we don't have any life still, though, so I still don't think we survived this. We have zero life steal. So we gotta get real lucky to kill like both of these units. Uh uh, this sucks. Okay, that's good damage, but he's gonna full heal with Tarmio Link, man. Come on, I need you to kill. No crit, beautiful. And now can we kill Eskinor? Okay, he has two attacks. Okay, I might be dead here. Oh, level three. I can guarantee you that's an AoE, which means we're dead. Not an AoE, but we're still probably dead because you know, my team's stats are not high. That's a lot of damage, and it's going to proc. Okay, I didn't kill anyone, so we win. We get attacked twice, which, yeah, we just win. Let's get the Brunhill victory screen. Good on him for not leaving the match. I'm proud of this guy. <laughs> 
I haven't seen a Brunhill victory screen in a very long time because I do not use his unit. Love to see it. Alright. Alright, we're in plat four. Okay. We do not go first. Okay, 340. You a big boy. Use a big boy. Well, which means I just basically lose. So we'll let him get his first turn off. And nine times out of ten, everyone's dead because he's using this gay ass team. No offense, but you know, it is what it is, bro. Like this go third midless team is so cringe. You rank up and you just wipe. It's weird. <laughs> And even if he doesn't kill the unit, uh, yeah, he has a level three. Uh -huh, I'm definitely dead. Yeah, only makes sense. I I don't even know if I want to play this match out to be honest with you because this team is just cringe. And uh, we also, you know, don't get our debuffs. So I mean, Uh, I don't know that that's not even fucking worth it. No, nothing here can help me in this situation. We just lost So I guess we could see the damage without the Brunhold buff Just extort I guess <laughs> if that's even something you want to see Good damage on Sigurd, but you know 218 not bad Not bad to be honest It could have been better if Brunhild didn't die, but you know it is what it is this team is just very toxic in a way. In a, I, I'm not toxic in the talking of like annoying to go against. It's more or less just yeah. This team is pretty strong, so there's nothing I, without using a festival character, can really do about this. So we just lost. All right. Hmm. Okay. Cool. He also seed me as well. Okay. We're getting into big boy territory somehow. In platinum. That is. That's funny to be honest. Which means I guess I won't be showing a lot of fuckboy teams anymore. If we're going to actually be going against people with high CCs. Interesting. But, okay, off topic, since I guess we kind of just lose this one as well. There was um, the Mono Summons video, right? It had no audio, and I do apologize for that here in this video. But there was a, a tangent I went on in that video that, you know, you didn't hear. And that was Mono's origin, right? When Red Mono first came out, I could have sworn she was registered as a, um, what do you call it? An unknown race character. Because as you know, Mono is a robot from the future. So why the hell is she human? When it was literally explained that she was a robot from the future. But you know, it's fine. Whatever. We don't nitpick, I guess. Even though, I, I don't know, man. I didn't make the rules. But that was a whole, like, I had a whole thing about it, but I don't feel like going any deeper in detail. It's not that deep, so. But yeah, it was just something I nitpicked, because if she was unknown, she would be able to be fit on so many better teams. Putting her on, like, the Merlin team with Echidna, and, well, I mean, yeah, that Merlin Echidna Philo team is kind of crazy. But, like, you know, just an unknown team. Put her with the new Nanashi Relic, and she would have been kind of crazy. But no, they switched her to, um a being a human and i don't know if that's just me misinterpreting the beginning of this game or some sort of mandela effect so comment down below if y'all do remember that because i swear when she first dropped she was of the unknown race either it was in the past notes that she was unknown or in the game either way i explicitly remember her being of unknown race i don't know what happened to that but yeah her being human fucking sucks, and we're just kind of dead, so we're just gonna, yeah, no. If we, we're going against whales now. Not even whales, we're just going against people with decent CC, and this fodder team isn't going to cut it. So we're going to do one more match, probably get out CC'd, and then call it a video. <gasps> we're back at plat 5. Alright, let me go first, let me go first. Or, mm -hmm. come on, let me go first. Are you fucking with me? Everyone in plat has 320,000 CC for what, bro? <laughs> like ain't no fucking way there's this many people still sitting in the back of the map and you're gonna have a fucking attack on me aren't you which is fine that is a waste of your turn because I have a cleanse but he didn't attack on me that's annoying you're really going for the mono yeah she's real scary this time of year yeah she's just dead she cannot live against festival characters neither can this team it's just bad
Like, are you serious right now? Do I have to really go through this the entire fucking day? Okay. I may be able to kill someone here. I'm gonna go for the Liz, because I don't feel like dealing with the heal. Does Liz have Tarmio Link? Of course she fucking does. All right, I'm going for the Escanor. I'm gonna AoE, AoE, and then just let her get um, fucking Tarmio Linked. Escanor can go. She really got Liz with fucking, uh, that's annoying. No crit chance, because you can't lower his stats. I did kill, thank God. But now he has a level to AoE, I think, which is uh, fine, I don't fucking care, we lost, we're just here to experience pain at this point, which means, yeah, I'm gonna actually go back to using actual teams now, which is so boring, because PvP is centered around 14 different teams that all play the exact same fucking way, at the same time, though, I will also be using some Nanashi teams, because I do have his holy relic, he didn't kill anyone, what the hell did you do wrong? Um, alright. I can't do anything here. That's actually annoying. I guess I'll just get Sigurd's ult, even though he's probably dead next turn. Because I'm not killing Gilther. He's just not strong enough on his extorts alone. Gay ass. <sighs> I hate PvP, bro. There's a reason I stopped playing and... <laughs> I'm starting to taste it again. Or I'm going to start going back to ungeared because this is boring. My god. What the fuck? Okay, well, she's dead. Or he's dead. My bad. Yeah, bro. Good job using a full festival team. I'm real proud of you. Oh, my phone's dying. Oh, well, that's wonderful because this is a perfect time to end this video. Ah. Uh, Sure, let's just kill the go there because we're dead anyway. We crit, so we should be able to kill, right? Brenhild, you can kill, right? You almost didn't, I'm gonna be real with you. I have decent life still, actually. But I think I get wiped by the Lizzle. I would not be surprised, especially if he has a bond buff. If he's smart, he would bond buff into the ultimate, but I don't think he knows that. Or he just doesn't have a buff. That looks like death. Good job, bro. Full festival team. Woo! Welcome to hot, not even high tier, mid tier PvP where everyone uses as festival units and you can't have fun. Oh, brother. Alright, well, that's the end of my little career. So I guess I'll be seeing y'all in the dog shit PvP that is four characters only. Yay. Alright, bro. Um, end of story. Mono is still a decent unit, in my opinion. No, she's not fucking game-breaking. No, she's not even good. She's just right in the middle. Nagato said it best. She is definitely missing units, because the catastrophe units are just dog shit. Their stats are horrible. The CC is horrible. Even Mono CC is horrible. I think my Mono has, like, 53,000 with attack crit UR gear. Like, yeah, it's, it's not good. So, yeah, fun mono times, we'll be back, because, you know, new character means mono teams, and I want to kill myself for some reason. So, yeah, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.